What is going on, Internet? My name is Lou, and I make Linux videos. Tonight, we're going to be taking a look at the unreleased elementary OS ISIS. Now, uh, this particular project, of course, is the uh, predecessor to Elementary's uh, fantastic release of Luna. Um, ISIS is based on Ubuntu 14.04 and is currently in, let's just call it uh, a highly um, developmental phase. Uh, it's not even really alpha, I would say. Uh, I did compile this um, from uh, the Elementary's uh, Launchpad software using their own build system. Uh, it's a 64-bit, and we're not going to talk about stability because, of course, this is pre-release software, so uh, that wouldn't really be fair to talk about stability. We're going to be mostly talking, although I will say it's been quite stable. Uh, I, we're just going to be talking about some new features. Now, when you think about elementary OS uh, ISIS, um, Luna did a lot of the heavy lifting. Of course, they worked on their Pantheon desktop environment, um, their Gala window manager, switchboard which is their own uh, custom system settings uh, and so on so they they laid a lot of the groundwork with luna what you're going to see with isis is a lot of the polish a lot of the fit and finish um, so we're going to go over some of the new features and i'm going to show you kind of my first impressions of this and of course again it's in developmental phase so uh, bear that in mind now first thing we want to talk about is switchboard that is uh, this particular application here, it's the system settings, it's kind of the hub for all things uh, ISIS and how you uh, basically configure your system. So Switchboard has been brought up to version 2.0. Uh, one of the new things, of course, and I can't show you this, but there's also a new lock screen. Um, it's a light DM lock screen. It looks fantastic. It's, it's a gorgeous lock screen, um, and it's even nicer than uh, the first iteration. Um, one of the next changes that they have in this particular release has to do with wing panel. And a wing panel dynamically changes the top panel's opacity based on your wallpaper. And it's 100% opaque for full screen applications for better legibility. So I'll show you uh, what I mean by that. Let's open up music, which is the uh, music application here. For those of you who are looking for an awesome band, by the way, Hands Like Houses is phenomenal. So if you've got a music application and we bring it up to full screen, you can see that the top panel here changes to 100% opaque and it changes black. This helps legibility uh, with full screen applications. Now if we unmaximize this particular window, you see that it dynamically changes based on the wallpaper. Now if I open up switchboard here and we go into desktop and then wallpaper, Let's switch it to this one here. How about this? As you can see, based on the wallpaper, um, wing panel kind of knows uh, what the best setting is for the top panel opacity uh, for legibility, and it'll automatically dynamically change that. So I think that's a pretty amazing feature. And as you can see, there's some really nice animations and transitions um, between wallpaper changes. Also, um, we've got these new transition animations when you're switching between settings here in Switchboard. That's one of the new changes. Uh, I already mentioned that this is based on Ubuntu 14.04 long-term support release. So, of course, this is going to be uh, supported by the Ubuntu base until April of 2019. One of the next changes is the system header bars. This is a GTK+. Plus. Um, they've incorporated the GTK+, Plus iteration of these header bars. Um, so everything now is included in the header bar. They don't have a separate menu bar and a separate title bar. Everything is included in this header bar. So it really gives it a nice polish, and uh, I think it just uncomplicates things and makes it a lot more minimalistic, and I really like that. If we come over into the security and privacy settings, uh, you're going to see under privacy here, um, this keeps track, of course, uh, for system searches and such and so on. Um, for your documents, your music, your pictures, presentations, spreadsheets for quicker accessibility. So when you come over here into Slingshot, the application launcher, and you go to search for something, um, when the system kind of keeps track of your most frequently used files uh, and or applications, you're able to search for them much more quickly in Slingshot. Um, there is an integrated firewall setting here now, uh, which is really nice. So uh, if you just go ahead and supply your password, I have mine turned to on. 
Um, so we've got an integrated firewall, which I think is fantastic to have. I always thought it was uh, kind of a, a chore to have to go in and uh, install a firewall application. It's really nice to see this baked in here um, by default. So that's really nice. Um, now we've got online accounts integration here. So uh, as of right now, Yahoo does not work. Facebook does not work. Fastmail, Google, and Microsoft, uh, all these options do work. So it's nice to have the online uh, account integration considering social media and all these online accounts um, is how everyone kind of manages their digital life nowadays. So it's nice, again, that this is baked in uh, to the operating system. Um, so one of the other nice things is if we come over here to applications, under startup applications, we can now um, either add a new startup application or modify uh, an application that exists here already. Um, so this was not in Luna. It is a new addition here in Isis, and I think it's uh, it's a nice addition as well. So one of the other things that has been worked on is some default applications. So uh, we've got the web browser Midori, which has been updated to WebKit 2.0. It now has Flash support, uh, which is great. And um, it has some nice little features here. I've enabled um, uh, coloring of the different tabs that I've got going on here. And uh, of course, there's a lot of under the hood um, improvements that have been done to Midori. So they took a, an already great web browser and made it even better. Some of the applications you're going to see here is Audience. Audience here is a video application um, that is uh, specific to the elementary team. Also, one of the things that I found interesting, and I have to check on this, but photos, um, this looks exactly like Shotwell. Uh, I'm not sure if actually it is Shotwell or they forked Shotwell to make their own photo application. Um, I think that Shotwell does fit very well into the design uh, philosophy of elementary. So if this is in fact Shotwell or a fork of Shotwell, um, I think that that would... Um, be a nice addition to the core application suite of the elementary project. Uh, further on here we've got music. I will say that music has um, been a lot more stable than it was for me in Luna. I was having issues uh, in the previous release of uh, elementary OS um, importing a large music library. I have a 70 plus gig music library and uh, music did not want to import the entire thing. Uh, it would hang um, maybe 25% of the way through, and I could not get the full uh, library to import. Now, with that said, this did import my full, full library. It did not do it nearly as quickly as an application like Banshee, um, but it did get my whole library in there, and it has been working um, just fine. So that's music. We have, of course, Scratch text editor. Scratch is, was available in Luna and it is still a great text editor here in Isis. We also have Snap, which is a uh, webcam application, custom webcam application. Works just fine. And that's pretty much about it uh, for the custom applications. I know eventually they're going to be working on a software center, or they already are. But that's all you're going to get by default for custom apps uh, in elementary uh, OS Isis. And of course, you've got Geary Mail. Haven't imported or set up any type of uh, mailbox yet, but Geary's included. And as you can see, we've got some new GTK Plus uh, integration here. You can see the dark theming um, files. Introduces, of course, again, the new um, GTK Plus header bars. And it still is one of my favorite file managers. So as of right now, uh, this is what you can expect from the elementary uh, project. I think Luna, again, did all the heavy lifting. Isis is adding that nice polish on top of the great Luna base. Um, and they decided to base it on, of course, Ubuntu 14.04 LTS, which is going to provide users a nice long-term support release to find a comfortable home here on Isis. Uh, if you like the, the uh, progression, um, of this particular project. Uh, stay tuned to my channel. Be sure to subscribe. I'll be doing a lot more update videos as the development increases, especially as we hit beta and so on. And um, thank you guys for watching. And until next time, we'll catch you later.